Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Crusader Kings 2. Calling this series No Frills, because this is a series where I am not going to be using any mods or any DLC. None of it. I made a claim in a video series that I'm currently working on with Crusader Kings 2 that Vanilla Crusader Kings 2 is a very fun game by itself without any DLC installed. Those words came out of my mouth. They just flew out of my mouth. And you know what? I've never played Crusader Kings 2 without any DLC. I have no idea if it's any good. I suspect that it is, but I do not know that it is. So I just wanted to give it a go. Uh, be a rather short series, I think. I just kind of want to dig into it a little bit and see what Crusader Kings 2 without any DLC is like. The, the entry point for this game, if you're considering it, I know it is very, very high. Even on a sale, all the DLC, it's, it's, it's a lot of it, and is it any good without it? I don't know. So this is a series for you, and also if you have all the DLC, like me, and have played with all the DLC for years, I've never played without it. What's it like? Is it a whole new experience? Is, uh, you know, is it kind of going back to some of the older features? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just give it a shot and find out. So, I'm going to start a new game, single player. Okay, right off the bat, uh, we see that Charlemagne is required for the 769 start. And Old Gods for the 867 start. So, the earliest we can start is 1066. And that's something I haven't done in a long time. So, it should be kind of fun. I don't know, you know, just you're starting your, your dynasty. You want to start from the beginning. So if you have a really early start available, let's go for it. Um, okay, so we've got the map. Now, we can only play as a Christian character. So a lot of the map is going to be unavailable for us. Though more, if you usually play in the older starts like me, you know that most of these folks are usually pagan. However, in this DLC, or at this time period... They're actually Catholic, a lot of them are, so you can actually play as a lot of these guys. Um, and you have the uh, Orthodox religion coming up into the Russian area, so you do have a lot more people that you can actually play as. Um, you cannot play as Muslims, because that requires the Sword of Islam, D uh, Sword of Islam DLC. Uh, you cannot play, of course, as any pagan. Any of these guys up here are going to be not available because of old gods. Uh, we cannot play as the Indians because of the Rajas of India. And I assume that you guys we can't play as well because of Jade Dragon. Oh, and or Old Gods. Okay, so we can't play any of those guys. Because Bone is considered pagan, I assume. All right, and um, another thing to kind of point out is that... Look at the portraits. I don't have any of the portrait packs installed. So you basically have uh, your European folks and your not European folks. That is how the map is divided. Well, that's interesting. I probably could have left those portrait packs in. They do give a, a lot more flavor, but uh, I, I, you know, going all in, disable it all, disable it all. All right, so we need a Christian ruler. So I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe, I could do France or Holy Roman Empire or do the the Spanish thing. It's just I I don't feel like I I feel like I do that a lot. Um, maybe something down here, like maybe 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 this guy. This guy, he's old. This is Norman. We could do a Norman thing down here. That that might work. And uh, let's see, what is the kingdom down here? Is it Naples? We can uh, go in and form Naples. I'm not wanting to do a very long playthrough with this uh, series. Just uh, just to kind of... Uh, oh, we have uh, Republics as well that we can't play as. Yeah. That requires the Republic. Go figure. Yeah, let's uh, let's do this guy. The Norman, Norman Duke right here. We'll try to form Naples and we will call it a day. Is it Naples or is it Sicily? Maybe it's Sicily. I forget what the name of it is what the actual name in the game of it is. I know at one point it was Naples. Um, all right, so let's just go. This guy right here. He's old. Let's play him. All right, we have all our option screen. That new that new option screen is back. There's things that uh, are up here. We're just going to do the defaults and do start secret religious cults. I thought that was part of the DLC that added all the societies. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
All right, so this is our land down here. We are the Duke of all of this, and are we the Duke of all of that? Okay, I guess we have this holding and this holding. And these, although they are kind of my same color, are apparently not. Now, are you guys, like, related to me? No. But we do have a million children. Which is nice. I'm 51, my wife is 26. And we have some children that are from that woman who I is still alive. I guess we divorced or something. Maybe he's a legitimized bastard. I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know the history of this area. What I do know is that I want to conquer people. All right. Let's see. Do we have any do we have any conquests we can do? We've got this whole island down here. These are all Muslims. Seemingly independent Muslims, which is going to be nice for us. Let's see. How many troops do you have? You have 1.89k and I have I have more. What do you think about that? All right, so that is something. Okay, so let's see. We have a wife. That's all situated. We are an inspiring leader, which is nice. Let's see. We need uh, we need an ambition. We need an ambition. And we've got the old school ambitions back. And uh, we have an ambition to come the king of Sicily, which is something I do want to do. Let's see. Do we have any improved learning? It's a four... Improved diplomacy. Wow, I haven't seen this in forever. Yeah, I actually kind of missed these. It was nice if you had like a stewardship of like six or something like that, six or seven. You could take that and you would get the events to help bring that up. And I'm strong too. That's nice. Um, let's go. Uh, we've got a million children. I don't want to do any of those. Let's just become the king. I know what that does for tribal uh, folks. I'm not sure what that does for... Let's see. The Fabricate, we can get the... Okay, we can get the claim on Sicily with that. Uh, reduce cost for creating the kingdom. Okay, all these things I recall now from my just previous playthroughs. They're all good things. All right, so I think that is all situated. Let's see. We need minor titles. We need a designated regent. Who want to do that? Let's see. Who... See, you're my nephew. You don't like me very much. But you don't like me very much, and you have a lot better marshal. Let's give it to you. And uh, all these I'm going to hold off on just temporarily until the game updates a bit. You guys aren't doing much. Let's see, your chancellor. Let's see, do we have, like, we don't have claims on you or anything? No, we do not. Let's see, what is my de jure duchy? Just those three right there. So we don't get like any any CBs on any of this land. So we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, which is just fine. Okay, let's uh, raise train troops in the capital, collect taxes in the capital, study technology right over there. And uh, let's see, you can improve religious relations with my bishop. Because they're probably not giving me any troops. Well, actually, a couple of them like me. Oh, you are a... You are a... Uh, you're that dude. Okay, that's not ideal. But it will work. All right, so all of that is situated. Let's see what else we can do here. Uh, laws. Oh, these are the old laws. Um, I forget which DLC that was reworked in, but um, it's it's different in one of them. Uh, let's see. I like this better, actually, because I can keep the city levies the same, but tax them more, which gives me more money, which I like. And we could also raise centralization, which would give us more domain. We probably want to do that, but there's no big hurry right now. Technology looks the same. Army looks pretty much the same, except we cannot raise retinue. That is something that we have to consider. 
Holy Orders, are Holy Orders part of a DLC or... I don't remember. I don't remember. But we can't hire any right now. Intrigue. Oh, we have the old uh, go on a hunt. Let's go on a hunt. Go on a grand hunt. Yeah, we don't have any of... That's the old one that goes through those things where we can get, like, diligent and all those things. Let's do that. I haven't done that in a million years. Uh, we can hold a feast. That makes everybody like us more. Let's see. We are not quite there yet. That has to be in November. Okay, so that's coming up soon. We may want to do that as well. Um, factions. Let's see, the Pope doesn't like us very much. Just for my traits. He, uh... We don't have the, uh... The, uh... Uh, what's it called? College of Cardinals. Never really used that much anyway, so it's probably not going to be missed. And, um, I don't know. Do I... Do I just, uh... Do we just go and attack? I mean... Yeah, I think we do, right? I mean, nearby people may declare war on me. I don't know if that's going to be a big deal or not. We'll find out. Um, people may help me as well. Who knows? All right, something to do. Let's uh, go ahead and get the military up. And uh, let's get them... I don't know, can we go ahead and take them down? Or... Uh, you know, we'll unpause. See what happens. All right, I think all that is done. We can create titles. We can create duchies. I don't don't want to do that yet. Yeah, if he comes for me, I'm just going to have to retreat. Let's uh, bump up the speed a bit, I think. Hold on, I need to adjust one thing. Okay. Oh, war canceled our hunt. Um, but we do get the chance to become diligent. 10%? I don't think it's going to happen. But let's try. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. They are on the way now. They are going to be there on the 15th of October. And you are going to be there on the 12th of October. They've got a lot more troops. The, you've got... Well, I'm an inspiring leader. I think I should I think I should do that and let's put another guy skilled tactician moral defense every little bit helps right all right and I don't know when those guys are gonna get down but um, we shall see this may be a disaster we shall see oh he's got 2,000 troops Yep, disaster. I don't know if they're going to make it down in time. Um, unyielding would be nice for this fight. I want to do direct leader. That'll be more beneficial in the long run. And hopefully these troops are going to make it on time. Oh gosh, they've got us flanked on all sides. All the troops are going to the middle. Like, all of them. That was not optimal. Well, you know, we tried. We tried. We can't we can't win a war like that. Can't even win a battle like that. Um, let's see, seventeen hundred. No, leave me alone. Boy, everybody has shattered retreat. I mean, all of the troops were going into the middle flank. And that is not how you win a war. All right. How you do win a war, though, is with the Jews. And we do not have Jews. Hmm. I wonder if that is like Sons of Abraham, maybe? I don't know. But uh, I believe this battle is over. I don't think we're going to be able to do much else. We're not going to be able to cross that straight. 
maybe maybe if we wait right here he will want to cross the strait right let's see we can't learn to drop and re-raise I mean if he were to cross that straight that would be a lot better so let's bump up the speed a bit and see if he'll fall for that let's see did our regent die already yes he did um but you I thought we gave it to you I don't know I don't know um okay so you need what do you need a guardian um sign guardian to you that'll give you a 10 bonus you get commander as well okay um my wife he's a siege leader that's weird okay might as well yeah and i don't know i'm watching the war score here i mean that's pretty pretty significant I don't know if he's going to be able to get enough. I don't think he is. Let's see, are you my daughter? No, you're my niece. I'm probably not going to get anything from marrying you off. Well, there's uh, there's non-aggression uh, treaties. How about that guy? And uh, how about King of Denmark? Excellent. Okay, my wife is pregnant, and I don't believe it. Probably because I am paranoid, right? Yes. We can hire somebody to find out, but I don't know that we get much from that. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to win this war or not. Okay, you're done. Do you wanna do you wanna cross the strait? Oh, you're doing it. You're doing it using boats. That's probably a wise idea. Where are you going? All right. Do we have more than one flank now? We do. Can we get like yeah? You 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 take that side. You take that side. And let's see if we can recover this. Whoa, we're going fast. Okay, that's looking a lot better. That's more like what I'm used to. Okay, and which way are you running? We are going to chase you down. You're going that way. But I hope you don't run all the way back home. You're going to run all the way back home, aren't you? Well, that's fine. Are you? No, you're my nephew as well. You marry... You want to marry your niece? No. Boy, you want to marry all people related to you. Uh, let's see. She's, uh... Yeah, marry her. Hopefully we can get across this little bridge right here. Okay, he's going to retreat. What do you want? You want to... Who are you? King of Hungary? Sure, why not? Okay, he's actually running away. That actually benefits me greatly. We may, we may pull this out. We may pull this war out. Okay, I guess they got back on the boats. <laughs> yeah, they got back on the boats and teleported up there. Um, let's see. I wonder, can we siege him down before he sieges us down? I don't know. We'll just we'll just see. Yeah, we should we should probably go attack him. Really, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't, I don't know that my war score is going to outrun his. That's my capital. We'll find out. Okay, that took him down to 34, so actually that was fairly significant. All right, and if we take this down, he can't raise troops from it anymore, so that will help a lot. Um, 
Let's see. I think... Okay, I don't remember this event. I haven't seen it in a while. I think if I do this right here, it gives him a chance to raise his martial skill? No, it'd be stewardship. Looks like that did not happen. Okay, we don't have enough troops to siege down the rest of it. Um, because we need 2,000. Let's go, let's go attack him. We took the top level holding of that county down, so I think that will definitely help. Boy, I just have all kinds of nephews. Marry her. We do have our commander still in place. Yes, we do. We should be able to win this and then siege that province back relatively quickly. Because, yes, he has two troops in there. <laughs> Let's picture those poor two guys in there going, uh-oh. <laughs> Things like that amuse me. Okay, let's see. You guys can get married. You do that. We need commanders. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess you. We are... Oh, wow, we're very in debt. You need guardians. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what, what, whatever. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just do this. Go to him. Sign guardian. You go to him. Gosh, all these kids. Um, sign guardian. You go to me because you are my heir. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I did there. I accidentally hit a button. Not too worried about it. If we can smash his army down to nothing. That would be extremely beneficial. Did we get him? No. Okay, let's send them down here. Go ahead and get this area siege down, and I think we'll be able to... Let's definitely try to knock this guy down if we can. Oh, we got, we got, we got one of his counts. Excellent. And they have 100 troops now, which should not be much of a problem. We are super in debt. But that is okay. Actually, we can ransom you for some money, right? Not a whole lot, but it will help with our effort a little bit. Court Chaplain. Let's see, I think that's mine, right? Yes. Okay, we'll have that siege down soon. We can go, hopefully, stack wipe his uh, 100 troops there. He's feeling stressed. To be honest, I'm feeling a little stressed as well. Another nephew. He's married. You're the last one left. Good news is we should be getting a ticking war score and a little bit of gold from sieging that down and the city should be next, so that one should go relatively quick. Oh, and I lost stressed. Okay, so it was like stressed never really happened. Consider the position of marshal on your council. Yeah, why not? All right, who's my marshal? Uh, my marshal is a landed guy. Yeah, you don't you don't need that. Um, let's see, eighty percent no effect loses the trait envious, forty percent chance. 
Uh, gain five. Gains the trade, Envious. Yeah. Guess he's going to be Envious. It's kind of like going back a couple of years. Um, let's see, what do you want? Proper alliance. Sure. I'm not going to, like, join your wars or anything. Don't get your hopes up. Okay, we should have a ticking war score on some of those provinces. We should be able to just siege this area down, or siege this area back, I should say. One thing that is kind of nice about playing the older version, uh, or the non-DLZ version, is I know all of these dialogues. I know what they all do, so I can just click through them real quick. Right, that brought that back. Maybe just sieging this back is all we need to get that war I mean, that first battle just absolutely killed us. Away. Um, yeah, 42% war score just on that first battle. But we have pulled it out, and we have won, and we now have a lot of land down here that is all mine. Go ahead and drop those troops. And uh, we need to give away some of it. Because we have nine, and we can only take three. But that's all right. Okay, Crusader Kings 2. No DLC. Good times. Um, it I mean, feels the same. Feels the same. Feels like Crusader Kings from a couple years ago, back before all the newer DLC came out. I'm liking it. Um, if you like it, uh, go ahead and hit that like button down there. It really helps out the channel. really helps out the series. And I really, really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment, uh, share all those fun things. I always love hearing from you, um, be it comments, criticisms, or things that you think I did right. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm always trying to look, get better as a player, so the comments actually do really help a lot, and I really appreciate them, and they also help out the channel as well. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next episode where we will go and continue to try to form the Kingdom of Naples. Sorry, Sicily. Sicily. All right, see you next time.